Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at six new things that are added to Laravel version 9.14. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this dynamic trust factory state method. On the Laravel version earlier than that of the 9.14, we had to manually create or add the trust method on the each and every factory but now it is by default available. So if I show you over here, by default, we had to do it like this. I have this category factory over here and we had to write this trust. And on each and every factory, we had to write this or just create a trait and add this thing. But now it is available. So I'll comment this out. Before if we try to access this trust, then it would give us this error. So let me just show you that image over here. Whenever I try to access this, it will give me this bad method call exception with the message this call to undefined method trust. But now if I just go here in the Tinkerwell, let me just uncomment this out and let me just run it. Then you can see here this trust method is being used and it is not throwing any error and it is also setting this deleted at. It will be very useful whenever we are writing tests and if I go over here in the database and come here and refresh the page then we can see here we can see this thing and it has a deleted ad but if we don't write here trust like this and run it then we can see here this deleted ad is not set it is not present over here and let me go here and refresh the page then we can see here null over here the second thing that has been added is this introducing this prepend keys with on the array helper class. It is basically useful on the validation. Suppose let's say if I show you over here. So let me comment this out and uncomment this. So here I have address city and this street and now I can just pass this array over here and this prepend key with I'm using this method and writing this every keys will be prepended with this array dot let me run this and you can see here it is looking like this it will be very useful for us whenever we are validating arrays from the request so let me show you that over here in the pull request also suppose let's say we have this request over here and these are the validation rules and in somewhere in the request we have like this payload and we have these things inside the address then if we want to validate it then we can just write here the rules like this and here I can just get the rules from here this request and then prepend every keys with the address then it will automatically validate this the third thing that has been added is this adds ability to have paginated per face parameter as a callable with access to total and let me also show you that over here let me comment that and uncomment it like this and let me just do it like this over here and it will be very useful in kind of weird scenario suppose let's say you have okay let's say here let me show here in the categories we have 34 categories but we want to show all of these categories in four pages we don't want the pages to be greater than four so in that case it will be very very useful so here i am doing here paginate and instead of passing a number over here i am passing a closure and i'll get the total data in a categories this model and here i'll just divide it by four which means that we will have all the data in the four pages and then i'll just to get collection and run then you can see here i am getting this eight categories and let me show you data over here there are 34 data so 8 multiplied by 4 will be 32 but we have here 34 data so it will show the data in the four pages now the fourth thing that has been added is this so let me show you this where relation at callback function and this is a fix not an addition feature so here whenever we ran this query where relation like this and then added a limit over here then it would ignore it by default you can see here the generated code would look like this before but now it will look like this and it will also add the limit over here then the next thing that has been added is the ability to add tables in the comments and i don't think i need to show this by example you can easily understand these so before we could only add comment to the column but now we can also add comment to the table as well by using this syntax and sixth and the final thing that has been added is this adds bootable trait to the test case and if you don't know about bootable traits then i have already created a full video tutorial about that you can watch that i'll be leaving the link of that just below that like button and then you'll understand it very nicely and it is a very useful feature if you watch that then you'll easily understand this basically we could just 
add traits that will automatically get booted whenever we run a test. Similarly, the same thing can be used on a model and whenever something happens, that trait will be automatically triggered. You can watch that video tutorial and the link will be just below that like button.